I'm Aaron, that's Zach, this is UTV Driver, and this is our list of the top utility rigs on sale today. This is a huge market segment. It's arguably bigger than Rec Ute and Sport put together. We're gonna go down our list of our favorite ones, starting with the Polaris Ranger XD1500. Brand new rig for this year. Zach, why do we like it so much? For the first time, we have a true three quarter ton utility side by side. You can put three quarter ton worth of whatever in the bed. It has an electric dump bed. It has a powerful three-cylinder engine and it has a CVT that uses a steel belt instead of a rubber belt, which means you effectively will never have to change the belt in that machine. That's right. Polaris even goes so far as to say that it is a maintenance-free life of the vehicle item. That is huge. How many times have you burned up a rubber belt? Like today? Or... Yeah, right. <laughs> You've all done it. You've all been hauling a heavy load, pulling a log, whatever you're doing, and oh, belt temp got too high and now it's slipping. With this rig, that is not a concern. And as Zach mentioned, it's got an inline three in it, which is a gasoline powered engine, but it really kind of chugs like a diesel. It's yeah. got a lot of down low grunt. Yeah, you and I both have driven this machine pretty extensively yeah. and fit and finish, execution, how it drives, it is just a cut above everything else on the market. Yep. Of course, it's also more expensive. Zach, what's the pricing on this? So the XD1500 starts at just under $30,000 and you can ratchet it up to about $45,000. Right. But that's before you start throwing on accessories. You know, keep in mind, this is a much bigger machine. It's almost mm -hmm. like a Ranger 1.5X. Right? right. It's yep. bigger in every direction. It's taller. It's wider. There's more cabin room. There's more adjustment inside. So you have a tilt telescoping steering wheel. The seat slides forward and aft. So it, it's really a machine that can fit just about anybody. Before, the Ranger has pretty much just been a one-size-fit-all rig. Right. And inside, you know, with that 1.5, you also get a much nicer interior. There's a proper center stack with gauges on it. You know, you get either body color trim if you option it up or just some really classy looking piano black stuff it really is starting to look more like the interior of a truck which is honestly the way that the industry is moving is yeah. much more towards really dialed in fit and finish and comfort because let's be honest if you are working as hard as these things can work you're going to spend all day in it but at the end of the day if you're exhausted and you're sweaty and you just feel like your rig's been beating you up you're not going to be as productive as you would be if you were comfortable and that's where the ranger xd 1500 comes in coming in at number two right on its heels is the 2024 Can-Am Defender Limited. Now there's the Defender Limited and the Defender Limited Max. We're lumping them together here. They're both excellent rigs. We're talking about an 82 horsepower Rotax V-Twin. Really, you know, it's not as powerful as the XD1500 Ranger, but that's still a ton of horsepower for a utility side-by-side. -side. You get a thousand pounds of bed capacity if you're not in California. You get around about a ton of towing capacity and a dump bed. And again, you can buy an HD10 that's not the limited model that comes, you know, without doors or, or with net doors and no windshield and all that stuff if you want the downspec model. The Defender Limited comes in right at $29,899 for a two-door version, so you're already getting the HVAC, the doors, the windows, all that stuff that comes on the up-spec Ranger XD1500 right at that $30,000 mark. And if you've got more people to haul around, that jumps you up to $32,999, which isn't a huge jump. And they're all day comfortable. There's a huge amount of room in the back, especially when you consider that it's a utility side-by-side. -side. So we're stoked on it. We've got an HD8 with 12,000 miles on it, and that's just the same engine de-stroked a little bit, or de a little bit. Yeah, some of those miles have been upside down. So, yes, you know. yep. Number three is the Polaris Ranger Kinetic. This is the electric Ranger, and I can tell by the look in your face, you do not believe me here. But it is worth keeping in mind, this machine makes more power than the XD1500. Say that again? Yeah, it makes 110 horsepower and 140 pound-feet of torque, so it matches the XD1500 in horsepower and bests it by 35 pound-feet of torque. This thing is an absolute workhorse. It is crazy fast. One, two, three, go! <laughs> It's fun to flick around because, hey, you know, we're gonna be having some fun with these machines too, yep. and it is plenty capable. Okay, the larger 29.8 kilowatt hour battery gives you about 80 miles of range, which is pretty good. Before we get down to number four, I need you to do us a favor, like this video, comment on it, and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. So hit that like button and subscribe. Number four, this is one Aaron has spent a lot of time with, the yes. Honda Pioneer 1000-6. So this is the new model for 23. It was a new model for 2023. Yeah. They're keeping 
keeping it for 2024. Uh, it takes all the capability that you get that you know and love from the Honda Pioneer and adds two rows of three across seating. It is huge. A dude who is more than six feet tall can sit in the back, stretch his legs out. You don't get that in many other utility side-by-sides. And with that, you also get a full-size bed. You get a thousand pounds of bed capacity, unless you're in California where it's limited to 600. It's almost a rec ute rig, but I think it, we'll leave it in the utility category. Yeah, it's fantastic. It has Honda's DCT transmission. Um, it's got a thousand cc parallel twin with around about 85 horsepower. So it's got all the capability you want and Honda build quality. The other thing to think about is the Honda 1006 is a bargain. Uh, they start at $21,899, which is like $8,000 below the Can-Am Defender that we just talked about. You can buy a lot of gas and a lot of accessories for $8,000. Honda, welcome to number four. All right, number five on this list is the Kubota Sidekick RTV 900. This is a thing that has a special place in our hearts yep. because it is just a little workhorse. It is a deeply charming rig. It is nowhere near the luxury or the fit and finish of the others on the list, which is why it is so far down. But if you're looking for a pure work side by side, if you have a small ranch or horses to work or whatever, Kubota has got you. The thing turns on a dime and has true lockers front and rear. So it's incredibly capable off road and you can just throw abuse at it. The bed is metal and it's bed lined. Most of the rigs that we've talked about up to this point have plastic beds, which work great and are fine and they're durable, but the Kubota has steel and it just feels that little bit more, I don't know, yeah, substantial. Yeah. Thank you. And yeah. it's just, uh, it's a great rig. We love it. Yeah, it's perfect if you like, don't like your kids, you know, put those in there, <laughs> or like your employees, you know? No, yeah. I'm, I'm kidding. We, we really enjoyed having having the, the Kubota around. Right. It's just, it's a no frills machine. And it's, you know, we live in a time when so many of these utility rigs have become almost cowboy Cadillacs. You yeah, know? You right. Can get, you can get all sorts of fancy leather interior and heated seats and all the rest of that. And all of that makes work nice, but sometimes what you need is an inexpensive rig that will do what you need it to do. Yeah. And there is a reason that you see these everywhere in major metropolitan areas on construction sites or just going around doing like municipal street maintenance and stuff like that. They're rugged, they're dependable, and they're no frills. They're inexpensive. Number six. This is one that just got a little bit of an update. The Kawasaki Mule FXR1000. Right. I got to spend a better part of a day down in Texas bopping around in this rig. It focuses more towards the utility side than any sort of creature comforts. You can buy a nicer one, but this really is a budget machine. So yep. if you find yourself in a position where you need a side-by-side, -side, you don't have the ability to fork out 30 grand. The, the Mule really is an excellent, excellent rig. It's yeah. plenty easy to get one under that $20,000 mark, which is huge because we talk about rigs that are north of $20,000 as if they're affordable. And let's be honest, to you, me, and most other people in the United States, that's a huge amount of money. Yeah. That is a big bank loan. And if you're a farmer out in Nebraska and you just need something that can fit on your ag loan and do work for you, the mule is it. One of the reasons that the mule is a little bit lower on our list is that it is dated. It feels old. Even though they just updated it, it's a very agrarian feeling rig. The fit and finish is not up to the standard of the others, but they've been making them literally since the late 1980s and they haven't changed much because they haven't needed to change much. The thing just just works. Kawasaki's known for reliability, for building rugged stuff. They build train cars and container ships. They've got durability figured out. They back right. it up with a three-year warranty, which is longer than just about any other machine that I know of. In fact, it's about three years longer than most <laughs> of the machines on this list. It is literally three times as much warranty as you get with the other machines. That was number six on our list, but we've got an honorable mention. The venerable John Deere Gator XUV 835R Premium. We had a yeah. 2023 last year that was just it was a mean green machine let me tell you about Gucci that inside, yeah you know this when you think about grandpa spec or cowboy cadillac john deere took that to heart and went after this thing it's got sat nav i think it had an option for like xm radio it had bluetooth stereo uh, it had hvac electric windows and like headliner yeah, yeah. way <laughs> over assisted power steering and and like styled alloy wheels like it really looked like the king ranch edition side by side okay Capability wise, it was fair to Midland. It wasn't the most capable utility rig we've ever used, but again, it's got John Deere written down the side. It is bright green and it is as plush as they come. If you're really looking to spend some money and get something that uh, granddad can bounce down to the mailbox in, you could do much worse. Thanks for checking out this list of our favorite utility rigs. You like what you saw? We've got buyer's guides on every last rig on this list, including some other competitors that didn't quite make the list. Check it out over at utvdriver.com. We're also out on all your social media channels 
channels. We want to see you there. We want to hear what you think about this list. Hit us up in the comments. We'll see you there. Yeah, we'll catch you next time. <laughs> I'm having a stroke. This is my brain. It doesn't work very well.